Falls, Miss Fortenberry here in her classroom. This week we are going to start a new lesson um, on lines. So I have this beautiful piece of artwork that I drew and this is like an, a vine made out of S's with lots of different types of lines and some fun little buggies here. So I'm gonna read you a story first to introduce lines. So this is called Lines That Wiggle. So there's more to lines than just one straight line. There's so many different types of lines. So I'm gonna read this book to you and then I will introduce the lesson and you can get started on your artwork. Here we go. Lines That Wiggle by Candace Whitman, illustrations by Steve Wilson. Do you know what illustrations mean? Hmm. It means the the drawings. So if it ever says illustrator, that's the person that did the drawings. An author is the person that wrote it. All right, let's see what we have here. Lines that wiggle. Wiggly line up and it's a snake. <gasps> Lines that bend, maybe from the weight of an elephant. This is the line of the bridge. It's bending because of the heavy elephant. <gasps> Wavy lines from end to end. Wavy lines in the water. Wavy lines from the octopus tentacles. Lines that tickle. I'm a little tickle. Are y'all ticklish? Little whiskers of a kitty cat might tickle you. Lines that sprout from a pumpkin. Bugs have lines that stick right out. Oop. That creates, lines can create texture like stickies or hair on a bug. Lines to trap, so the spider web has lines in it. Man, there's lines everywhere. Lines to hide, maybe creating camouflage. Two lines running side by side. And they're dotted lines too also call them broken lines and if two lines are running side by side does anybody know what that's called parallel lines so they're running side by side but they don't ever touch each other they don't ever cross lines that curve and curl like the wrap on a mummy underwater lines that swirl i love swirly lines they're so pretty those are fun lines i like those Lines that crisscross, like maybe in a net on this picture. Lines that mend. So the string from this little bumblebee is fixing the little broken flower. Lines with doggies at the ends. Little leashes on the doggies. Look at that, a cat. A cat walking all those doggies. Lines that scurry, so lines can also show movement so these little ants are running around yeah those are ants and these little broken lines are showing their path so it's showing movement lines in threes well, look at that there's little parallel lines in threes lines in leaves that grow on trees so lines can show the texture of things like the little veins in the leaves lines that twist like that school bus on that trail going around that big monster foot. Lines that sway like the grass in the wind. Lines that swish the flies away like a horsey's tail swishing the flies away. Lines that light up the sky lightning. We've seen some lightning here lately around here. Oh these one of my favorite rainbow lines way up high. And oh my goodness, have you ever seen a big monster on a rainbow? That's so silly. Lines are everywhere you look. Find some lines, not in this book. So I read the story to you just to show you that lines are everywhere. It's not just one little line that you draw. If you look around, you can see lines. I see lines behind me. The shelf here has lines going vertical and diagonal. My hair has little wavy lines. 
there's lines everywhere. I got a bee line on my shirt. So lines are everywhere all around you and you can get really creative with, by drawing lines. And that's what we're gonna do today. So I have my S fine and today all you need to do for part one is get a big piece of paper and a black crayon, okay? Part two, if you choose, you can do another day this week or you can do it all today. Part two, you will need multiple colors of crayons, okay? So all you need is a paper, box of crayons, make sure you have a black one because that's what we're drawing with today. All right, let's get started. Before you get started, make sure you have your 11 by 18 white paper and black crayon. I'm gonna start by drawing a really big S. So I'm gonna curve this way and come down and curve that way. Make sure that you leave a little bit of space all around the edges of the paper for us to draw our leaves. So now I'm going to draw little balloon shapes on both sides of my line, my little big curvy line that I made that's in the shape of an S. Those are my leaves, like little balloon shapes. Inside each balloon shape, I am going to put a different shape or line design. So think about all the lines that you learned about in the book, all the things that wiggle, all the lines that wiggle, and all the lines that you learned about in the video about lines. You can add lines together, mix and match them. You can repeat them. It's up to you. So fill in every single one of them. Make sure that you leave plenty of space in, in between each line so that you can color them in. Okay, so I have all my design filled out and I am done with part one.